Mayor Chase Green set the record straight about removal of vendors at the Starbrook Market Conopy. She said it is a recommendation from the City Constabulary Department to eliminate criminal activities around the area. What was said quite clearly by me at the national at the statutory meeting on Monday is while we accept the recommendation of the City Constabulary Department, those vendors will not be removed, that there is a national planning committee which would have been meeting um, the same afternoon and have continued meetings again to determine the whole way forward for vending in the city of Georgetown, which will take in street vending and all of that. The mayor posited that right now there is no place to relocate the vendors. As a result, the canopy vendors will remain there. As for the rumor that vendors will also be removed from the Rob Street area, Chase Green said. And contrary again, vendors were not removed from Rob Street. They were asked to suspend their selling for the day as they would have agreed previously to have the place clean. We called in all vendors and we have an arrangement with them that once every once a day every month every either monday wednesday sunday whichever day they fear to choose once a month they will suspend their selling to clean up the areas and clean the drains and have the place neat and clean now if they fail to keep that obligation to us we will be forced to ask them to stop selling and clean the place ourselves according to the mayor when the clock is finished Visitors will have to traverse the area and Kongs will ensure that criminal activities are minimized. When people complain that when they go into the market, especially through that they are being robbed, they are being harassed, you got gold to sell, you got this, you got that, you got all sorts of harassed, people just talking and talking. We want to avoid that. We don't have a problem with you doing your trade, but do it properly, do it neatly, but don't harass people. And it's a, it is again alleged that they are also in cohesion with the the. the Persons who do robberies and all of that, they're they aware of what is happening. So we want to eliminate some of that. We may not be able to eliminate it completely, but at least we want it to, to keep it down to the minimum. Because we have got legitimate people in the market who own stalls, who complain of the behavior. And they're even interrupted from, from doing their legitimate trade by those persons who are going to, to, to purchase from them. When asked if this issue is being used as a political football by the PPC operatives to smear the developmental plan of the city, Chase Green said. Let me tell you something. It is being used because the PPP has gone on board with it, but they're looking for any straw to catch on to. But they will not catch on on any because they will drown. We are more caring for our people than anybody else. Maybe how we say things or how we do things is not how people would like it to be done, and we are reassessing ourselves but in how we did. But we are sticking with the law, and we are sticking with our people. We have our people there. We know what they need. We know they are providing meals and food and shelter for their homes and families. We are not going to displace them and leave them out into the cold. Maybe some things that was done, we didn't do it as it ought to have been done, or, or went over board as if we were uncaring but we are caring and every step that we make at the level of the council is it taken into the interests of the, the citizens that are utilizing the service and the development of the city of georgia we don't want to be here and have georgia as a shanty town as it was before 23 years ago andrew weeks reporting for safe tv2 headline news